It's your boy LAKL, it's your boy US TV, live and direct. Oh yes, back in nature, you know, talking to the birds and the bees. Uh, you already know. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Enhancing what I have already to the highest level possible in my existence. I took a cold shower this whole winter, every day. It didn't bother me. The pain that they threw at me is now painful to watch myself um, from their perspective because of how painless I feel. Um, the overcoming of the rebuilding of one's um, perspective of brokenness is now in the rebuilding stages of greatness. Right? And I don't get caught up in the witchcraftness of words being thrown at me. You feel me? Because I repel and I embody my own thoughts and vividness of who I am. How does one do that? How does one deflect and ricochet shade while chilling in the shade to be the reflection of richness and wealth and the beauty of who I am. It's very easy. It's very easy. The hard part about it is realizing the characteristic of another one's perspective of what they think to realize that they think that way and they perceive that that way and to not let it embody who you are so that you can remain in the body of the light that you are. So the dying part of the process, it's not really a death. It's a seasonal change. And the terminologies that we've been given makes us perceive it in that way. As in the death of something the dying of leaves and the stuff like that. What we talk about the life of the tree. All winter, this tree looked the same, no matter what. Maybe on the inside of the roots that was in the process of um, extending life into branches and stuff like that. Like my website categories got different branches different products new arrivals every day um products are real official and the necessities of one's needs every day brings us to a state of realizing energy and the energy is attractive and connected and conducive with other energies. It's like a battery operated um, product or machine that recognizes energy. 
and how can you detect the naturalness of the magnet. You can either deflect or connect. And the connection is very natural. The connection is very natural. And the disconnect is very natural as well. And the disconnect also can be another channeling of a perspective that you have to add to your um, database. So you know how to mingle with certain energies. And that's what I'm in the process of creating for myself and others. But more so with myself first, because I had to learn how to learn this new version of me that I once forgot, because that happens. Sometimes you, you forget who you are. Yeah. Sometimes you forget about, it's like, it's like, it's like a computer for real, because the database is so vast and so unlimited that um, there's so much information that things have to be deleted, organized, and um, put into perspective of how to think about things in a clear aspect. You know what I mean? You have to think freely and also think within the chaos of everything going on around you and inside of you because your body starts to talk to you and tell you what's conducive and what's not and there goes the bumblebee buzzing right next to me confirmation and there's the ring of the birds and they keep talking because I have to learn what's inside of me so that I project right because the simulation of the body is a projector and you put the projector to post it on the wall, right? And the wall creates the images that the projector is fed, right? So if I'm feeding my body positivity and I'm feeding my body light and I'm feeding my body certain things, and it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive because once you accept what you're projecting onto the, um, movie screen it's the responsibility of you to live throughout that movie and I chose you know to project what I want to project which is what I feel see and what I'm putting in my body and my body projects um, the illumination of what's inside of me you know also the toxicity of what I chose to put inside of my body and um, having the maturity to keep the balance of removing and the intake of um, what's inside of me so that I can keep a balanced state of mind and also take myself away from reality at times to create a personality and a perspective that's fine with me so that I'm fine within the environment of where I'm at and I also know where I don't belong. Right. And all of this, you have to just, you know, jump in and put yourself in a position of um, activity that helps you um, belong. There you go. In a um, environment that's um, fitting for you.
and seeing things for what it is and not sometimes what you want it to be. That's the challenging part about it, you know what I'm saying? Because like well, let's give it, let's let's use an example of like I just seen hurt people hurt people, right? And that's a chain reaction because if one's hurt and they use that hurt to hurt another, right? That that hurt has to be filtered and transferred from one person so that the other person feels the transition of that hurt, right? To um, upset the next person to make them satisfied with what they're doing. But when you get mature, the hurt that's projected your way, you realize that that person is hurt right and you could take that energy and say okay let's dump it right here you feel me before it enters my body or enters my force field of existence so it's a choice of um what you want to accept and what feeds your body as a coping mechanism for a drug because sometimes the hurt can be a high because the pain is so comforting that it becomes a blanket of satisfaction if you like to dwell in that state of mind and at times and going through phases you have to go through those blanket blankets of emotions so that you can know how to sleep and rise out of uh, those events so that you can bring forth new characteristics of yourself and your being and find solutions that take you out of that state of mind. And know sometimes that you're, you've created a reactionary characteristic that acts in a certain way and makes you um, think in a certain pattern. Is that a shot? Okay. <laughs> it makes you think in a certain pattern and you become aware of those patterns and it's your opportunity or your responsibility to change or keep it the same. So, right now I'm in the stage of rebuilding the body due to alterations of toxicity that were a part of my process due to the circumstances that I was a part of, you feel me? And now I have to learn to find the solutions which is preparing me for the higher heights of um, greatness. And taking on the responsibility of the ego, right? And speaking these things into existence because based on the positioning that I'm at and where I am right now, be still and know I'm God, right? Like this tree. 
and I mean the, the, the images and the phases of what God-like things are based off of my experiences, teachings, and learnings. Like I said, this tree was here for seasons and it didn't change, it remained the same. It just grew and got more abundant with the same stance and standing on the principalities of growth. No matter what weather changes occurred, the application of success was the same, right? See? The flies are all over me. Maybe because I smell so sweet. But it's bitter what I drink. And it um, removes defeat from my state of mind so that Every time that I am in a process, I don't look at it as a loss and stuff like that. Like you get caught up in, oh, you lost, or you lost your position, or you, what the, uh, we, we don't think like that at all. Because one, you gotta know your worth, right? Two, the, how you value yourself in the perception of your own eyes, in the mirror of your soul, um, what did you lose? What did you gain? What did you, what, what was the defeat in, based off the terminology of um, what has been given in the definition of um, profits and gains? It's like stocks, right? It's like stocks, like you don't get emotionally tied to the stock because there's an abundance of stocks. You profit off of a stock to take the profit and to invest it in more stocks that also become abundant, which makes you abundant based off the trial and error and uh, um, due diligence in that market field or business um, knowledge that you acquire. So as I'm looking at these bumblebees that are flying from daffodil to daffodil, they're investing their energy into the pollination of these plants and they're bringing forth that energy to invest in these plants so that they can grow so when different plants come to me or plans come to me I invest my energy knowing that my energy is conducive and they have the power to use my energy to enlighten their energy and to make them uh, more conductive and productive based off on how they know how to use energy to get to the next level. And that is a realization of the power that you have and to also not be mad when your energy is being used by another entity. If you know that um, you are your own source, <laughs> right? Just like the bugs and the birds keep flying to me because they wanna feed off of the power source that I project. Right? You see, like, when bugs go to... When you look at the light bulb and all those bugs be on the light bulb because they're feeding off the power source of that energy, that light, it's the same difference. It's the same difference. So 
one must know like myself that I am abundant and I'm already rich and I attract richness and I attract wealth and I attract baddies and all types of wealthy women and wealthy experiences that make me rich in life as a whole and the brokenness is not the brokenness of of um, the perception of what broke is but it's also the 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 building of layers that have to be sometimes polished and reformed not in the um, paralyzation of growth but the reconstruction of a real estate property that has to be flipped that looks even better than what was presented in the first place. And being a part of that rebuilding in that construction process of the repairness of a castle. As the engines are humming, my body hums in the direction of lavishness. And I don't feel guilty in talking about money and progress and success and all of that. I don't feel guilty to, to feel like I came out of the, the mud and I look the way that I look and I'm beautiful and I'm the reflection of who's watching me right now. So when they see me, they see themselves. So if I'm looking beautiful and I project myself as this beauty and this deity or entity or uh, this, this existing photogenic light of life, I don't feel um, less than in the humbleness of the process that makes you grand, right? With these scars that I have and these uh, different looks that I put together and the, 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 the critique of when I should do this and how I should do this and why I should have did this at this time and though I don't I don't dwell in it I dwell in the observation of why people think that way and when I move in the movie that I project and how I move in it the movie always looks beautiful because it's what I projected there goes the bumblebee buzzing for confirmation feel me and I continue to feel and look the way that I want to feel and I don't feel bad about it because I am my thoughts and I'm not the thoughts that were force fed to me that also is a part of the database and you have to get rid of and conquer them because they come at the point of progression and success and they'd be like yo da 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 and then I'd be like na 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 you feel me da 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 it's the one and only late bloomer K you already know boom there it is success is beautiful man And we continue to um, channel that energy and be that success and to um, embody the process.
Mm. And the cleanliness of oneself. And the obsession of oneself without feeling guilty. And the obsession of the offsprings and the offspring and the extensions of who I am. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with my gifts. I'm obsessed with the progression of me thinking that I'm this guy and believing that I am this guy. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the the, the rebuilding of my body. I'm I'm obsessed with uh, um, when it rains and I'm in a storm and I'm figuring things out. I'm obsessed with um, looking at people and seeing them say, I can't do this. Then we have a conversation and five minutes later, they're like, yo, I did it. I'm obsessed with um, the doubt that um, one tells me that I can't do something and I do it and fly in colors and I make logos and product that are confirmation on the market and tangible for one to buy and be a part of. I'm obsessed with my progression as the bee keeps buzzing. I'm obsessed <laughs> with that, like. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So it's like, I could break things down and be traditional in a step-by-step -step process, but the one step is, is to believe in what you think about yourself or what you're projecting about yourself before it even happens. So if I'm telling myself I'm beautiful, I'm rich, I'm wealthy, these are things that we were born with in the first place. It's just reminding yourself of who you are already. I'm sexy, I'm strong, I'm wealthy, I'm, I'm breaking generational curses. I'm a trillionaire, I'm a quadrillionaire. I'm the strongest, yeah. I'm the, uh, I'm the smartest, right? And I'm not saying that to say that I am the smartest in the world, but in my kingdom, right? In my temple, because the body is the temple, I'm the smartest, I have to be, because if I'm not, my, my temple will crumble, right? And in the crumbling, the crumbling of me, right? And I have people watching me saying that, damn, this nigga crumbled, right? Nah, I can't have that. Because if they extension of me, they gonna crumble, right? And I can't look at someone and be around someone and watch them crumble, right? And I can't, let the crumbleness of one and be like, yo, I have to enjoy or be a part of that. I have to be strong. I have to be tough. I have to be uh, resilient. I have to be sexy. I have to be um, solid. I have to be uh, growing all the time. I have to be pumping and my body circulation has to be pumping at all times. My organs, I talk to my organs like they're healthy, they're beautiful, they're growing, they're, um, my blood is pumping, my veins are strong, my skin is beautiful, right? My mind is clear, my hair is growing. I look in the mirror of the universe and say that I am becoming what I see in my mind. And I will always be what, um, 
what others don't want me to be, which is a higher version of myself. And it doesn't even matter what they want me to be because I see the picture, I write the script, I make the movie. You know what I'm saying? My mom and my parents, they did their job and they had their uh, uh, depiction of who I was going to be for the most part. And then it comes to another part where I have to become the higher extension of that. And it's my responsibility and I can't blame nobody and I can't put nobody in um, the role of doing that for me unless it's a team effort of progression. And the scientific aspect of it is very simple. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. It glows, you know what I'm saying? It got a glow. Got a glow to it. And I'm watching the, the the rescaling of my skin. See that? The rescaling of my skin. And watching negativity and fear and doubt and losing and all that conceptual bullshit that they um, wanna force on you is leaving my body. Get, like get out of here get out of here my, my little daughter was here she said get out of here fear get out of here get out of here thoughts negative thoughts get out of here can't live in my mind get out of here when I rap and these thoughts clarity boom 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 now right it's the aspect of memorization because your body gets overloaded with so many information that's why sometimes you can't really memorize and i spent my whole half of my life memorizing other people's raps and now i gotta memorize mine that's what fucking leads to dementia because you overloading your brain with so much stuff that your body's a system shut down and you never have that moment of me time where you clear that uh fogness of of thinking so that your mind is overloaded with uh, the demons of information right and you have to challenge them and get rid of them and put them in perspective so that you can live in the castle of the temple of the body before you enter the castle right and that's where I'm at. I'm in the castle. I'm in I'm in the fortress. I'm in the um the compound of living. Right? That's compounded all around the world because I'm omnipresent everywhere I am and everywhere I go I attract energy of progression no matter what area I'm in or what poverty line I'm in I bring richness where I go and people want to figure out what my mind is and how it's programmed to think and stuff like that so when they see me they automatically come with a response of richness and um, gratitude because of who I am and they see me in that way and sometimes people don't like to see you in that way based off of the circumstances and the interactions that you had previously but sometimes those moments occur to fit the situation of the personalities that we're around which makes up the abundance of characteristics that we have but as a whole, I've always been a wealthy thinking individual, no matter what age I was, I can remember because I was fed wealthiness since I was a kid. Like I always had a chain, I always had clothes, I always had a glow to myself. 
I always was inquisitive in the um, realm of why people think the way they think, nature, looking at certain aspects of life, animals, stuff like that. I always wanted to know and ask questions of religious beliefs and stuff like that. Um, as the birds are playing, I always, you know what I'm saying, with women, I wanted to, you know, explore her body, you feel me? And that's just what I do. <laughs> and that's just, that's just what it is, you feel me? And I don't really, we don't really got to explain that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because the woman's body was meant to explore, you feel me? And that's just what it is. And... Now I'm at the age of observation and creating ambient um, experiences. Those moods got to be set, you know what I'm saying? So those uh, transactions can occur in a um, beautiful form. Because anybody that 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 it's in my realm, or we share the energy together in our realm because it's not just my realm with sharing an experience we project the light of each other right and we become to look like each other and we you know what i'm saying so people who are around me tend to look and feed off of me and become the energy the issue is sometimes know that we're feeding off of each other's energy and it doesn't become a power struggle of power source. And the world is abundant because money is not running out, water is not running out, trees is not running out, birds are flying. Um, I don't think there's an endangered species of oxygen that's on the earth. Like I don't think that exists or what they may project or whatever. So I don't think there's a... Um, endangered species of thought that that lingers in my mind there's always new downloads coming in from the universe based off the action that i put forth and in walking into the unknown of that cold shower aspect in the winter time because just the concept of thinking like that is like why would you do that and why would you put yourself in that position and how does it feel but how would you know to walk through a blizzard and to endure the blizzard to make it to spring winter fall summer and go through those phases that is what makes the wise the wise and that is what makes the wise create the narrative of the stories that we read that we read because someone had to endure and go through those experiences to create those chapters of life. Become Before Becoming book is on my website. And um, it's very simple, so. And I can expedite the process of becoming. And there are energies in whatever the case may be of obstacles that to me, it's just a playground of um, fitness that prepares you for the higher archy or higher tear or higher solidness of this tree behind me. Like, look at that. It's like, I came back better. I'm back in, I'm better. Never really left, but I mean, I'm strong enough to go through a process of regeneration to become the star, like the starfish and the, uh, the star that exudes or creates gas and rebuilds himself with the uh, the ether or the black matter that 
the black matter, you see how that, how like when you get cut and you, and the scars come and you heal and my skin looks more golden, feel me? And it looks like bronze sometimes as well too. And my hair comes back more black. And when we go through the process of humiliation, so that means there was a million ways to project your light until you found the solidness of solitude and gratitude that keeps you whole in the light bulb of a realm that you exist in that makes you that light source to be wired wirelessly in the universe of connectivity that makes one omnipresent existence and to look so thuggish <laughs> and still be respected amongst um, the uh, superiors and the supremes that exist in your realm and to share the existence with the reflections of who you are and still feel whole and complete. And that's what I wanna create, man, this backyard experience where we could just be chilling, having drinks, eating tacos, playing music, eating some chicken, some veggies, whatever, whatever you prefer, whatever you prefer. And we're not gonna shun or destroy or push away the many existence of who we are, right? So, Late Bloomers, Us TV, it's your boy LAK, you feel me? Just a general speaking of everything that I'm saying, you can apply it in no, in all categories of whatever category that you want to be a uh, part of or that's on your mind. Whether it's relationships, jobs, business, it doesn't matter. All the concepts apply because it's all the same difference. You feel me? It just takes the uh, patience to understand and to learn the different characteristics and live in a world where there's a lot of structures, rules, and and um, guidelines that you can apply and also know that you can add to those and to have the willingness to be a part of that energy and those conversations and those personalities without having to be mad at someone because of their perspective. Cause yeah, I see, that's the thing too, to understand perspective and to not be offended by it is the gift because you're like, okay, I don't agree, but that's just, that's just you, you feel me? I could feel like, yo, hmm, I don't agree, but yo, let's go get a drink, you feel me? Or, I'm saying, let's go shoot some hoops, or, you feel me? Let's, 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 let, let's work on a project together, or I respect you on your project, or while I'm working on mine, you feel me? This is what it is, and that makes you um, respectable or powerful in a point where you don't care if it's respected or not. You just know that you're living in your truth, right? And you are sexy, beautiful, and abundant like LAK. Holla at your boys, Us TV, yeah, Jazz America.
You already know what it is. New music, new products, new arrivals. Um, new energy. New look? Or is it the old look? Or is this, you just got new to the channel that you need to be channeled in and tuned in? Holla at your boy, STV, what's up? Jazz America.